Here's where knowing your chords comes in handy. We're gonna switch to the key of E, which we did before with these chords. And what we're gonna do is have a third string melody again, but this time in the key of E. Now, A and E are two different keys. There's a note difference. So if you're able to follow your key, you'll be able to put this melody together. So you heard the three note phrases, and I did different things with them. I had phrases going up, and then I answered it with the same phrase. Went to A, played the same kind of phrase. Remember in the key of A, I've got this D note. In E, it's a D sharp. Then went back to answer it. I needed something different, so I went up high. Instead of going up with the three notes, I went down. Um, I think I played this <laughs> again. And back to the E. So you can see it's a game when you're making up your own melodies. I just took three notes to the phrase and made it simple, answered it, then you know gave a, a different uh, melody or another statement and then answered that. And uh, Again, you could do that too, but again, knowing your different scales and knowing which notes are different, that it's not a D in the key of E, it's a D sharp. Those are the things that are gonna help you uh, put all of this together.